Hi there. My name is Goodness Usman. And some of you know me as Latana. Yes, I am a seasoned lady realtor, an actress, and of course, a filmmaker based in Lagos, Nigeria. So today, I want to shed some light to some things that have been going round wrongly. I mean, some belief that you as an investor have. I need you to please watch this video to the end if you are a real estate investor. Okay, what I'm about to talk about is quite sensitive. However, it's not as sensitive as we not talking about it. I know a lot of people who don't want to talk about this, but I have chosen today to talk about this particular subject matter. In fact, I want to advise you to also watch my other videos so that you can further understand this topic that I've started talking about today. And what is this? Like I said again, if you're a real estate investor out there, most especially for those based abroad that are not based in Nigeria, you need to watch this video or share it to your fellow that needs to hear this. A lot of times when you want to buy, if I'm not a lot of times, all the time, when you as an investor want to invest in real estate market, whether buying a land or you're buying a house, we usually advise you to carry out your due diligence on that land or house that you want to invest your money in. So, when you take that advice, of course, who is the next person that you will call to carry out a due diligence for you on that property, aside the realtor involved or the real estate agent? Most definitely, it's your lawyer. And of course, that is not a bad thing to do. But today with this video, I am going to be shedding light to some things that you need to take note of when trusting the services of your lawyer. In fact, today majorly is to be sure that that lawyer that you're engaging is or our services with is appropriate to carry out that task. Just like in the medical sector, doctors have specific areas of specialization like if you want to have a brain surgery you will not go to a general medicine practicing a general practicing medicine doctor right or you want to have an art you have an art condition issue or you have an art issue i'm sorry you will not go to a general medicine or a doctor that has that only treats kids right you will go to the one that specializes with the heart for instance if you also have god forbid you have cancer you will not go to a doctor that only treats bones or that only knows about um, malaria how to do general medicine right you will go to a specialized doctor a doctor that is spe that specializes in that area that you want urgent or you need urgent attention the same methodology applies with lawyers when you're asking your lawyer to go out there and carry out a due diligence on a um, real estate investment you want to go into please ensure that this lawyer has the experience the expertise that is needed or required for him or she to carry out a due diligence on that property I have seen this play out over and over. Investors just generalize their lawyers and say, my lawyer this, my lawyer that. Unknown to you as an investor, your lawyer is not a real estate lawyer. Yes, they know the law. They might know, have an idea about it. But we have lawyers who specify who they, what they do every day is in real estate. Their area of specialization is real estate and coupled with other things. So you need to find out from your lawyer or you need to know if your lawyer has that expertise. If your lawyer do not have that expertise, I advise 
that you engage the services of a lawyer who that is their area of specialization. Why is this important? I'll list them out for you. It's number one, for your own good. A lot of times when a lawyer, when you engage the services of a lawyer who is a general lawyer, so to speak, what happens is they don't even have experience in the real estate market. So they don't understand some terms. They don't understand how it works. And trust me, when you're engaging the services of a lawyer who do not know how it works, it's like you're moving from fry pan to fire. Yes, it's more dangerous when you engage the services of a lawyer who do not understand the rudiments of real estate investment or how to carry out a due diligence on a property. It is rather better you engage the services of a, of a realtor or a real estate agent and trust that person blindly in that transaction than making it worse engaging the services of a lawyer who has no idea how to run or how to carry out a due diligence on a real estate property. I cannot overemphasize the importance of this. That's the one aspect. The other aspect is because it's not their area of expertise, they do not also understand how they carry out this due diligence. When it comes to land documents, they don't understand it to the deep. They don't understand it deeply. So when they are advising you, their advice is biased. Because they don't even understand how the procedures. I've seen a whole lot of um, lawyers come and make some certain statements that you'll be like, are you really a lawyer? Do you even understand this? We will be the one to educate them that this, that's not how it works. This is how it works. When it comes to going to allow some land use in allow usa in a Kedja, Lagos state to go and carry out a due diligence on a property search on a property title search because they are not the regular they are court lawyers they are lawyers that go to court it's not like they've had a proud experience on property dealings they don't understand how it works even when they give them a result in allow usa, they don't know how to read it they don't even understand it can you imagine a lawyer telling me that any land that has excision is bad to invest in? <laughs> really? I'm like, okay. That explains it because I know what I do. I know my onions. I just started laughing so hard. Like, okay. You don't even understand what you're saying. You don't even know what you're saying. So please, I probably will not tell you everything, but I'm advising you, sir or man. If you want to engage the services of a lawyer, please do not engage the service of a general lawyer. A lawyer that specializes in crime, in crime investigation, in normal regular document agreement thing. I don't know the regular times, but a general lawyer who just drafts documents, that's all he does, who not understand the due diligence that needs to be done, how it's been done. He will not understand those terms, those eating terms that needs to be understood when it comes to land titles. Some lawyers don't even understand land titles. Imagine you telling a lawyer about a government allocated land and he's like, I go to Alausa, I do not, um, Alausa cannot give me any information on the land. To start with, any property that is a government allocated land, you should not even go to land use in Alausa to go and carry out a search. That's not where you will get a search. That's not where you will get your carry out your due diligence to confirm because he has nothing to do with land use in the first place. So you will be shocked that some lawyer don't even know this. But I am a real estate professional. That is my job. I know this, and I'm telling you. So if I if your if your lawyer goes to search in Alausa and they can't give him such information, nobody to educate him in Alausa that this is not where you are supposed to go. You are supposed to go to here in um, Okwebi Ale. By the time I tell you that where you're supposed to go to is not allowed, so you'll be like, no, my lawyer said, my lawyer said, my lawyer said. Now, because of investors in the past have engaged the wrong services of a lawyer, it has deferred them from, it has stopped them from investing into some great deals. You see so many deals are not carried out because their lawyer said, their lawyer said, their lawyer said. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't engage the service of a lawyer. I'm just saying when you are engaging the services of a lawyer, ensure that it is the right lawyer, just like if you're engaging a doctor. 
a woman with fertility issue would go to the right doctor, right? Not all doctors are fertility doctors. You know what I mean? So that is what exactly when you have an art condition, you have a kidney problem, you have a liver problem, you have malaria, you know the specific kind of doctor that should attend to you. The same way it should be with lawyers. Just like I'm talking about lawyers that would carry, that are property lawyers. You can tell them, a Monile lawyer, to come and undo a crime case for you. He probably will not have the idea. Except Eve is versatile. But hey, on a regular day, a property lawyer will not help you go solve crime. Not that he will not have an idea of what to do to help you solve the crime. But I'm saying it's not his area of expertise. So because it's a sensitive matter when it comes to real estate investment, I personally advise that investors engage the services of experienced lawyers in real estate transactions because it makes the job easy. So they can flow with your real estate agent or realtor. Not that the lawyer is going this route and the real estate agent is going through and there's a conflict of interest and then eventually they get you the investor confused or get you losing out because the bottom line is for you to make a, a good real estate investment judgment is for you to buy into a sweet deal so i really have seen a lot of investors miss out on great deals and that's why i am putting this video out there now this is just the first version to this lawyer thing there are other two angles to it which i will be uploading um, next time please stay tuned and don't miss the next video however if you have any question whatsoever you need more explanation on this subject matter you can send me a chat or send me a dm yes on the number right there my name once again is goodness usman yes I am your fab lady realtor for Ninja Realty 24. Thank you and I hope that you have learned one thing today.